Hello ladies and gents, it's Spoony Pizzas here with another Pez 2018 video and this is my advanced tactical series. Um, so basically today I'm going to be talking about hug the touchline. So players on both flanks stay close to the touchline. This means that even if the ball is on the other side of the pitch, the player on the flank will stay wide. Now this for me is one of my favourites. Um, the reason being is because I like to do skills, I like to match up the left and right backs one on one um, with a skillful winger and, and take them on and create, try and create a chance. Um, so this is why it's one of my favourites. Okay, so it's 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 good for many formations, but there are some some definite formations where it's uh, it's really key. And to be honest, I it works for most. Um, the only time it doesn't work really work is if the formation is really narrow and you just want to close the game out. So if you're winning and it's like the 70th minute and you're sort of hanging on, you might want to disable it because I find that whilst it's great at attacking, defending it le does leave you a bit open through the middle and through the core so they can, you know, it gives you a bit of a soft belly to be honest. So, okay. So let's start off with going through the formation. So 3-5-2, um, absolutely. Um, means Valencia and uh, Young will stay wide. Um, Matic and Herrera will pull apart a little bit. You'll notice, um, and that'll give you a lot of uh, lot of width to dominate the the style, uh, dominate the uh, the opposition. Sorry. Four five one, absolutely. Again, your wingers will pull wide, but also your fullbacks will pull wide as well. So that's important to note that. Um, sometimes I tie and hug the touchline with attacking fullbacks just so they stay a little bit wider. Um, but like I say, I don't play attacking fullbacks when I've got wingers. Okay, just makes them stay a bit wider and stretch the opposition, especially if you find your opposition sort of um, very narrow, very compact. It's because they've set the compactness really, uh, really tight, and maybe they've got to swarm the box on for a tactic as well, advanced tactic. So. Um, which I'll discuss uh, a bit later. Four, five, one again. The wingers go wide. This formation. Um, if I was t playing attacking fullbacks, then yes, I would use hug the touchline. Otherwise, I wouldn't because Valencia and Young will be pushed a little bit too wide for my liking, and um, it'll be easy to easier to do um, like triangle passes through Matic, Young, and Valencia. Four, four, two. Absolutely, Young and Mkhitaryan stay wide. Um, again, once again, same applies. Attacking fullbacks, then then yes, I would play uh, hug the touchline. Four three three, absolutely. So Lukaku and Mkhitaryan pull nice and wide. And um, the thing we find with um, with uh, hug the touchline, and if you're playing attacking fullbacks, attacking fullbacks, your one of your midfielders would drop a bit deeper. Um, which is which is quite nice um, with the with the attacking uh, with attacking fullbacks. But here I would probably go for false fullbacks, um, in as in as discussed in my previous video, just so they sit in between Lukaku and Mkhitaryan, and then Mkhitaryan and Lukaku would stay really really wide, and that's uh, that's really uh, quite potent. Again, much the same. Um, three six one. Yep, Valencia and Young will stay wide. Um, Mkhitaryan and Lukaku will go drift just a little bit out to the wing. So, um, well, not not out, out to the wing as such, but sort of edge, corner of the corner of the penalty box. You might find them uh, sort of lurking. Um, three five two. Absolutely, no problems there with uh, with the width. Like I said, it will leave you a bit open. So sometimes when you're winning and you want to just close the game out. Just turn it off. You can use your special command and the uh, uh, D-pad to turn it all off, like you can with any tactic. Three five two. Yep. Same again. Three four three. Now this is interesting because you've got obviously you've got two lots of wingers. Um, now I find that if you play hug the touchline with this, they do tend to get in each other's way, so it's not really advisable. Um, but if you were going to play this, then I would tie it in with Tick Attacker. So Tick Attacker and Hug the Touchline. Reason for that is because when you've got Herrera and you've got Tick Attacker on, you're driving into midfield, Valencia will tuck in. And same if you had Matic, Young would tuck in. So it just gives you that. 
it 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 will stop them sort of running into each other. So that's uh, that's why I would tie those those two tactics into this formation. Five four one, absolutely. So um, you know, with uh, Herrera and Matic at left back, um, uh, you know they they'll obviously play wide, and obviously you got um, Lukaku and Mkhitaryan, um, and that that would work. Um, you might be a little bit open to the middle. Um, it's probably not. This is probably a formation I wouldn't use it with. Um, I would probably prefer to go with false wingers and attacking fullbacks, just so Mkhitaryan and Lukaku cut in a little bit. Okay, five three two. Um, yeah, if I'm playing attacking fullbacks again, then yes, I would play head the touch line. Uh, yep, same applies to that that formation there. So yeah. Hope you find this uh, video good, guys. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments. I'll um, I'll post a few uh, post a few screenshots now. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.